Hi girls. Now I just want to explain um, to you about the intermolecular forces of attraction. Okay. Now what I've drawn here is one methane molecule and one hexane molecule. Okay. Now when we talk about intermolecular forces of attraction, we are not talking about this carbon to hydrogen. That is a covalent bond. So when you draw a black line in your structures okay these are all covalent bonds and oh I've missed out my bonds here which you need to be very careful you don't do because in an exam you would lose um lose marks for that okay so what i'm talking about if i draw if i represent two methane molecules as those two dots then what i'm actually talking about is the force of attraction okay between two molecules so that's what i mean by intermolecular force of attraction between two molecules so when you're looking at a boiling point you're looking at a change of state between a liquid and a gas okay and it's these intermolecular forces of attraction which break okay at the point where um, the phase change happens and remembering back to heat while we do a little bit of revision okay the energy required to break those intermolecular forces of attraction is the latent heat where you get the liquid changing to the gas okay and remembering during a melting point that these weaken slightly okay so this black line here is a covalent bond okay they happen within a molecule Whereas the intermolecular forces of attraction happen between molecules. And, um, and that's what we are just um, explaining when we're talking about a boiling point or a melting point. Now, the reason I've drawn hexane here is obviously it's a much bigger molecule. <clears throat> so if I represent it as a diff slightly different shape... rather than a little circle, okay? I've got a much longer molecule. And so as we add in more carbon atoms, we're adding in more hydrogens, okay? And all together, we've got a whole lot more atoms in the longer chain alkane. So therefore, there are a lot more intermolecular forces of attraction, okay? So as the number of carbon atoms increases, okay, so does the strength of the intermolecular forces of attraction because you've got more of them. And that's why more heat energy is needed, okay, to break those and get this um, state of change between a liquid and a gas if it's a boiling point. So this is the explanation as to why when you increase the size of the alkane, okay, you increase the size of the alkane, you increase the number of intermolecular forces of attraction or the strength of them, okay, and therefore the boiling point increases. And the reason for that is it requires more energy to either weaken those bonds, if you're talking about a change from a solid to a liquid, or to actually break them. Um, if you're talking about a boiling point, okay? Now, just a couple of other things that um, that you possibly will get asked and I thought was worth um, explaining in this video and that's about alkenes, okay? And here we've got ethene. And if you compare ethene with ethane, okay, you can see that there are six hydrogens in ethane, but only four in ethene, okay, so because you've got more atoms in ethane, okay, you're going to get more intermolecular forces of attraction, so an alkane would have a higher boiling point than an alkene. Okay, so um, if we, so the boiling point of an 
our keen is only very slightly lower okay and an alkane is slightly higher if we, that's if we're talking about boiling points okay and this is lower because basically there are less hydrogen atoms and less hydrogen atoms means slightly fewer intermolecular forces of attraction okay now the other um boiling points that you potentially could get asked about are the alcohols so let's compare ethane ethene and ethanol okay so i'll quickly draw them out again ethane now you often see ethene drawn like this um and it's just because these well you you'll it'll it will I don't need to worry about it. You just see it drawn a few different ways. And next year in, year, in level two chemistry, you'll, there'll be an explanation of why that is. And um, if we've got ethanol, we've got our OH group on the end. Okay. Now of these, and this is true of melting points as well. So I'm just, this one has the highest boiling point. This one has the lowest boiling point and this one's in the middle okay now the reason that these alcohols have the highest boiling points is because you've actually got an extra atom in there you've got that extra oxygen okay so because you've got extra atoms you've got more intermolecular forces of attraction okay or we can put most here okay this has the least intermolecular forces of attraction and again this one's in the middle okay so we're talking about it's really really important that um we're talking about the forces of attraction between molecules not these lines that you draw here because these are the covalent bonds okay so I hope that's helpful. We will go back over this when we're back in at school next week.